May, my, my, my. What's up, man of God? Bless you. Rob, good to see you, Melissa. Sheldon, miss you, my friend. It's been some time since we've talked. How are all you lovely, wonderful people doing? God bless you. I want your friends to begin to come in the room. Let your friends know Dr. Pastor B. Lim is in the house. And I want to talk to you. I want to release the word of the Lord over you. It feels like it's been some time since I've been here in the studio because it has. It's been one and a half months maybe, but I'm back here in the studio. I want to talk to you about the comeback anointing and what you can expect from now to the end of 2023 because we are in the second half of 2023. So very, very incredible, exciting things are about to take place. But I want to talk to you. Amen. So comment below where you're watching from. Give some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall. Praise the Lord. Begin to log in. Begin to tap in. Praise God. Sakarabasata. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let me know where you are watching from. Praise God. Begin to share this broadcast with some of your friends. Let your people know the man of God, Dr. Belam, is in the house. Glory be to God. It's good to be back here. I have a strong word to share to you, to preach to you, prophesy to you, to minister to you. But uh, tomorrow um, at 10 a.m. PST, I'm doing a broadcast with Prophet Charlie Shamp. So that's going to be wonderful. That's tomorrow, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard. Myself, Prophet Charlie Shamp. We're going to talk about extreme prophetic. We're going to talk about the things of God, of course, the prophetic. And we're going to talk about um, just how God is raising up a new breed and a new standard of the prophetic. Amen. Whenever anything gets attacked or anything seems to get purified, you know that there is a greater truth or an original design. You know, it, it's just going back to the originality, the truth, the purity, the potency of something. So uh, very excited. So tomorrow, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard, myself, Prophet Charlie Shamp. We're going to talk about extreme prophetic. Now, let me know where you're watching from, South Africa. Bless you. Margaret K., bless you. Thanks, Rob. Joyce. Amen, amen. Thank you, Prophet Ivana. Juan Martinez. Amy Landon from Crowley, Texas. Oregon, USA. Bless you. Trinidad, Tobago, Downey, down the street from me, Arkansas. Amen. Thank you, Father. Edward Dawkins, thanks for being a subscriber. Bless you. Pittsburgh in the house. Bless you. Rebe Rabo Shata. Prava Luis, good to see you. I saw you earlier. Friends, I want to talk to you about what you can expect in the second half of 2023. Of course, we are officially in July, and I released a prophetic word of the Lord for the month of July. Um, but there's many things happening. But this is going to be a month. Um, and this is the first month of the second half. Some would say second half. And so how you start this month is going to kickstart and put everything into alignment for what is to come for the rest of this year. And I believe the second half of 2023 is going to be filled with mega blessings. Great, great opportunities. Great opportunities. So watch out. Get ready. Get ready to be in awe, to be in a wonder. Get ready to be in shock at what the Lord's about to do. Can I get an Amen. So I want to begin to minister the word of the Lord to you in a bit. But continue to share the room. Let's build up the room and the algorithm and the atmosphere. Like I said, tomorrow I am doing a broadcast with Prophet Charlie Shamp, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard. So come and see us. Come and be in the room. Be present and receive in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Well, how are you doing, friends? South Africa bless you. How are you doing, friends? Well, of course, we just finished an incredible one-month tour. Route 66 Revival. 12 cities. 
in the United States. Tent revivals, outdoor crusades. God is so good. God moves so powerfully. So all the glory goes to Jesus. And I'm very excited for what God's doing this month and what he's going to do to the rest of this year in 2023. Amen. But continue to comment below. Let us know where you're watching from. Give us some hearts and likes. Let's build up the room and the algorithm, the atmosphere in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. It's good to have Miss Dolores in the background. Good to see you, sis. Let's give it up for Dolores. Praise God. Good to have her here. Amen. Well, praise God. Uh, in this month, my friends, of course, I already released a prophetic word of the month, but I really feel like I want to talk to you about the comeback anointing. Because this season, this month, God is saying, get ready for the comeback. Get ready for the comeback. And what is the comeback? The comeback is where you um, have not just a reconciliation or restoration, but a comeback is where you go to a higher level. You're being renewed. So this month, as the Lord declared, there's many things that are finishing this month, finishing assignments, finishing uh, alignments, friendships. There's a finishing and a completion that's come forth in this month. And I also believe that there's going to be a comeback anointing. You're going to come back stronger. You're going to come back happier, wiser, smarter. You're going to come back wealthier, richer. Amen. You're going to come back in a totally different way, at a totally different level. You're going to come back. And when you come back, you're going to be unrecognizable because of all that God's doing. Because of all that God's done. So I believe this month there's going to be a comeback anointing. What does that mean? A comeback anointing means that you're coming back stronger. You're coming back better, greater. You're coming back to a higher level, higher realm. So as the Lord is finishing some things off of the spirit this month, he's also giving you rest. Because remember, number seven in Hebrew means rest. On the seventh day, the Lord rested. On his seventh day, the Lord rested. So this is the month of rest. And who you knows that there's rest and restoration. There's rest in the realm of restoration. So as you rest, there's going to be a comeback. As you rest, there's going to be such a thrusting forth and forward of the power of God. There's going to be such a birthing anointing, such a release of the fire, the power, the glory of God, that it's going to be an unstoppable wind momentum up to the second half of this year. But can I talk to you about what's going to happen to you from now till the end of 2023? Okay. What's going to happen is that this comeback is going to begin to set many things in motion, in place, and in order. And I believe financially, I believe supernaturally, relationally, things are going to begin to take place in your life that is going to set you up, shoot, for 2024. Remember the Bible says that there's a greater glory in the latter. And so in the latter half of 2023, we're going to see miracle signs and wonders. Are you ready for the comeback? God is about to shock you and leave you in awe and wonder. You thought God was done. You thought God was finished. You want to throw in the towel? Look, as you rest up and as you rest in, as you salah unto the Lord, amen. As you rest up and rest in, there's going to be such a strong comeback anointing that's going to come over you that it's going to shock the world. And it's literally going to thrust you and launch you. Why? Because we're three months away from Rosh Hashanah. So even now, July, August, September, hear me now, July, August, September, there's going to be such an increase of the power of God that's going to thrust you into the last three months of this year, which, of course, we've already stepped into 5784. Because God always ends with a big bang. He's the author and the finisher of our faith. 
And as you are finishing this season, as you are finishing this climactic first half of the year, you're going to end with a big bang. And a lot of people end with tiredness, with backlash, with grief, sorrow. They end with um, regret and remorse. But you're going to end the first half. You've already ended the first half in the glory of God. So it's time to begin to press into the glory and to rest and to receive fresh manna, fresh revelation from Jesus. Amen. Because get ready to run. You will run and not grow faint. You will walk and not grow weary. You will run and not grow faint. So there's going to be such a spirit of acceleration that's going to begin to amp you, amplify, accelerate from July, August to September. And in September, October, November, December, amen, there's going to be miracle signs and wonders. I'm telling you, I really believe, especially in the last quarter of 2023, okay, the fourth quarter of 2023, October, November, December, there's going to be mega financial breakthroughs for so many of you because it's Hanukkah season. And the Lord wants to prepare you and set you up before we cross over into 2024. Now, I'm going to be releasing the prophetic word for 5784 in 2024 in the next two months. So just be on the lookout for that. So I am praying into that, preparing my spirit into what the Lord has for me, our ministry, and for the body of Christ. Amen. But the second half of this year, there's going to be a battle in the spirit. There's going to be a battle in politics. There's going to be a battle. But there is a tipping point in Jesus' name. There is an overflow. There is a comeback in Hollywood. There's a comeback of the church. There's a comeback of justice. There's a comeback in the United States. There's a comeback anointing coming upon the church in the second half of this year. So I want to talk to him and prophesy because I really believe the next three months, July, August, September, it's finishing. It's finishing 5783, the Hebrew year. And there's going to be so much swirl and shifts and shakings. Because like I said, it's going to be a battle. It's going to be a war for your future, a war for your destiny, a war for your identity. My goodness. Rebe Sata, a war for your family. Because you need a breakthrough to step into a realm so that you can possess that realm before you cross over to 5784. And I really believe October, November, December, there's going to be a lot of financial breakthrough. I see a lot of people moving. There's going to be moves of location of property. Things are going to be finalized. Things are going to be settled. Things are going to come to pass. But definitely the last quarter of this year. But I want to talk to you because I believe in the second half of 2023, there's going to be a great battle and a great war. Great battle. There's going to be more exposure. There's going to be more shaking. And there's going to be a great battle in the White House. In the house of God, a great battle. But there's a fresh anointing coming upon the church. There's a fresh anointing for increase and for acceleration that's coming upon the church. Amen. So I want to talk to you about the comeback anointing. Because I believe you're about to come back even stronger. Look at the story of Joseph. He was in the pit. It took about 13 years, but he came back stronger and better than ever. Amen. Look at the story of David. And in fact, we're going to go into this. Amen. We're going to go into the scripture here. Because today I'm talking about the comeback anointing. But look at the story of Joseph. And now let's look at the story of David. 1 Samuel 22, verse 1. Amen. Amen. 1 Samuel 22, 1. Praise the Lord. And this is David in the cave of Adullam. 
Praise God. I love that. First Samuel 22. Praise the Lord. Shut up. If you're with me today, say amen. I'm happy to see you. Happy to be back here in the studio. Like I said, tomorrow, I am doing a broadcast with Prophet Charlie Shamp. I'm going to talk about extreme prophetic. But here, 1 Samuel 22, let's read here. David departed from there and escaped to the cave of Adullam. And when his brothers and all his fathers house heard of it, they went down there to him. All right, I need you to follow me. And everyone who was in distress, everyone who was in debt, and everyone who was bitter in soul gathered to him and he became commander over them. And there were with them about 400 men. And David went from Mizpah to Moab. And he said to King of Moab, let my father and my mother stay with you until I know what God will do for me. And he left them there. So now we know the story. King Saul is maliciously after David. Spirit of jealousy. Literally, David, he didn't do anything bad, anything evil, anything sinful. But because the anointing was on his life, Saul, the old guard, the old leadership, was jealous and envious and was against him. I need you to hear me. Give me some hearts and lights in the mighty name of Jesus. And so here's David. He runs away, escapes into a cave. And there, 400 men gathered around him. Your lowest point will become your highest point. Amen. I feel a baby leap in the spirit right now. Your cave time will become a birthing time. In that time where David was in the cave of Adullam, 400 men who were distressed in debt, bitter in soul. I mean, it can't get worse from there. 400 of the lowest of low lives, runaways, criminals. They ran into the cave with David seeking refuge. And we understand that that low point in the cave those 400 men became David's mighty men. I want to talk to you. Some of you, God is calling back to the cave. God is calling back to a reset. He's about to restart. And many of you are going back into the cave. Maybe you feel like retreating. Are you retreating? You feel like you're going back into hiding. You need to hit a pause button, hit a snooze button. What's going on, Lord? What's, I thought I was in your will. We were advancing. We're doing good. But now these people are after me. They're after my life. They're accusing me. They're attacking me. And David ran into the cave. And the lowest point, it eventually became his highest point. Where the 400 men became David's mighty men. Amen. It's in that cave where God begins to form you. And I want to prophesy to you because many of you are coming to a reset. That's what I mean by rest. Amen. Because you're about to have a comeback anointing. You're about to come back. You're about to clap back. You're about to arise like never before. And many of you, you may feel like you're in a cave. You're hiding. Cave of Adullam. What is a cave? A cave is a dark place. It's a cold place. For some, it's a scary place. A cave is a place that's cut most likely in the side of a mountain or of a rock, a cave. You see, resting in the Lord and resetting in the spirit is not a bad thing, all right? And God has wanted to pull you back to thrust you forward. Just like a bow and arrow, just like a boomerang, just like a rubber band. God has wanted to pull you back, refresh you, restore you, renew you, pour into you because you just finished the season. Because you just finished a season and you're about to step into a new season. Amen. Therefore, the Lord is pulling you back and he's bringing you into the cave, into the secret place. Because God is about to birth you, rebirth you, do a new thing on the inside of you and through you in Jesus' name. Amen. Because this month of July, it's the month of the seventh day of God. This is the month where God rested. In a, in a sense, I mean, hear me now. The seventh month equals the seventh day. And on the seventh day, Shabbat, God rested. He didn't need to rest. Amen. Come on. He did not need to rest. He's God. He's never tired. 
but he chose to set himself apart, separate himself to enjoy all that he has done. And the Bible says on the seventh day, he said it was very good. The very good anointing is here in the seventh month of 2023. Some would say very good. When God created the heavens and the earth, the stars, the living creatures, even man and woman, Adam and Hawa and Eve, he said it was good. But on the seventh day of rest, he said, ah, it's very good. Can I get an amen? Are you ready to step into the seventh day anointing? The seventh day anointing of rest, of finality, completion, perfection, finishing, holiness, gold, and glory. Amen. It's the seventh day and this month, Rebeshit, the Lord wants to bring you into the seventh day anointing where he's putting your enemies to rest. He's putting your worries to rest. Things are being settled now in the spirit. And in this month of July, which is the seventh month of the Gregorian calendar, cha, he's bringing things to rest. And he said, I want to bring you into the very good. Remember, what is the enemy of great? It's good. And if you want to go into the very good anointing, you have to first be in the good anointing. You have to first be in the realm of good. And from good, you can step into the very good. Amen. So I believe this month, this is a month of the seventh day anointing. And I believe this month, hear me now, you have the trajectory this month of launching forward into the new year. Hebrew year 574. And this month there is a trajectory for you to begin to overflow for the second half of this year. Because the Lord said, there's a greater glory in the latter half of 2023 than there was in the first half. If you're with me today, I want to say amen. Give me some hearts and likes. But the Lord said this is a month of rest and reset. So reset. So once again, hey, Dennis, I'm going to be in Hawaii. Oh, hello, Christine. Hilo, wow, our Hawaii family is here strong today. I'm going to be in Oahu in three weeks. We hope to see you. So in this season, like I said about the story of David, he ran away into the cave. And as he ran away into the cave, that was where he was recreated rebranded, remade, represented. It was in the cave where 400 men came around him and where 400 men surrounded him. And that is where he had his comeback anointing. Your lowest point will become your highest point. And we understand in this season, you have the month of Tammuz, which begins the three weeks of mourning. Three weeks of sadness, of sorrow, where the worst detrimental destructive moments in all of Israel's history took place this month in this season. But your lowest point will become your highest point. And the Lord is about to release a comeback anointing over your life. It's going to be stronger. It's going to be greater. Listen, stop crying about the opportunities that you lost. Stop crying about the fake friends that were sacrificed at the altar. Stop crying about what didn't happen. Come on. Because something better is going to come forth. It's a comeback anointing. Something much better is going to come forth. And the Lord is about to bless you. The Lord is about to show up and show off. And I really believe that in the second half of this year, get ready to be in awe of the Lord Jesus Christ. Woof. Get ready to be in awe of God. God is going to show up and show off. He's going to raise you up. He's going to bless you. He's going to, my goodness, I want you to begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Sanamanta, Rabashata, thank you, Jesus. Rebe Setanamata. There's going to be such a comeback anointing in the mighty name of Jesus. And I believe this month there is a trajectory for you to break through, for you to break through like never before. So make sure you get your rest. Remember the cave can either be your enemy or it can be your friend. A time of 
Seek in the Lord of rest and restoration. Shoo. It can, it will never be an enemy. But you see, you have to be willing to let go, to let God. And you have to be willing, amen, to meet the Lord. Now, I believe God is calling many people back to the secret place. He's calling many people back to the cave. He wants to speak some mysteries. He wants to speak some revelation. He wants to give you some downloads, fresh fire, fresh input, fresh glory. Rebese. He wants to prepare you for the next level, the next season, the next realm. And if you're ready for that, I want to say amen. Because this next season, my friends, the next six months is going to be filled with the awe of God. Get ready for comeback. Get ready for breakthrough. Rest reconciliation. He will give you rest from all your enemies. He will give you rest from all of your enemies. Amen. And this is a seventh day anointing this month. He's releasing a seventh day anointing upon your life. This month, there's a completion, a finalization, a finishing. Thank you, Lord. So get ready for the realm of rest and restoration. Good to see you, Melissa Shu. We missed you last week in Phoenix. Someone say amen. Glory to God. Shata Rabata. Rebeseta Rabata. The second half of this year, get ready for what God's going to do. It's going to leave you in awe of the Lord. It's going to leave you in awe of the Lord. And now, glory be to God, yesterday, I ran into an old friend, Dr. Joseph Nazarillo, who I haven't seen maybe years, but I've known him for over 10 years. And I haven't seen him, and it's a new season, amen? He owns a TV network called The Cross TV, great TV network, mainly for the Arab world, the Arab nations. And uh, we just set a date together to do a program but he's from Egypt, so therefore, now a door in Egypt has opened. So I'm going to be in Egypt, Lord willing, in the month of October, after my trip to Israel. Amen. There's a reconciliation, a restoration, a comeback of past old relationships. Shoo. Jesus, lift up your hands. Thank you, Lord. Rabba Sata. Somebody say seventh day anointing. The very good anointing. It's the seventh day anointing of the realm of very good. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, I want you to lift up your hands. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Because there's a shift. There's a move. There's a release in the spirit. There's a release in the power of God. Rabba Satana Mata. The Lord's giving you rest. The Lord's giving you restoration. Cha! The Lord is giving you the very good anointing. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say, come back. Get ready for the comeback anointing. Shika Rabba Soto Robo Soto Robo Soto. Thank you, Father. Listen, if this word ministered to you today, I want you to give us some hearts and likes. If you receive this word in the name of Jesus, I want you to say amen. Thank you, Father. Because some of you, you've come to a halt and to a pause. You've come to a finish line. You're about to cross a finish line or you just did cross a finish line. And the Lord says, get ready for greater. Get ready for greater. Get ready for greater. So hear me now. From July to September and then September to December. All right, July this month, there is a trajectory 
to propel you, to launch you for the rest of the last three months of 5783. And there's going to be a lot of shaking, a lot of battles. There's going to be a lot of swirl. What does that mean? Mantles are up for grabs. Inheritances, destiny scrolls are up for grabs. Jesus. And in September, as you cross over to Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, then boom, it's finalized. And I believed October, November, December, there's going to be financial breakthrough. A lot of breakthrough for many of you. And then we're going to cross over to 2024. Some say amen. But many of you right now, you feel like you're in a cave. Or the Lord is calling you to the cave right now. Calling you to the cave of Adullam. Calling you into the cave of Adullam. Aha, Rebe. Where maybe it's time to pause, to rest. And it's not backtrack nor retreating. But it's being hidden in the refuge of the shadow of his wings. Psalm 91. But in that cave of Abdullam, David became a leader overall. 400 met him in that cave. And they became mighty men. They became mighty men. Amen. They became mighty men. So Prophet Alana is asking, how do we prepare? Are you ready for this? I'm going to give you five things that you need to do in this month to prepare for your comeback, to prepare for your breakthrough. Five things that you must do. Amen. Number one, you need to come back to your first love. You need to go back to your first love. Number one, go back into your first love, which is your cave of intimacy, your cave of prayer, your cave of being covered in the shadow of the Lord God Most High. So number one, come back to your first love. Amen. Number two, I believe the second thing that we must do is we must silence our soul. Because there's many distractions right now. Listen, it's July. It's high time, okay? A lot of things are happening. It's the mid of summer. But in this season, the Lord wants to silence the soul. Any distractions, deviations. Yeah, it's exciting. You want to go play and party with your friends. You want to do this. It's hot out, etc., etc. But you really need to silence the soul. Because catch this, I believe there's going to be many secrets and revelations, blueprints. God wants to release up to the end of this year and even for the new year, 2024, 5784. So don't treat this like it's familiar. Don't treat this like it's just another time or it's a summer season. I'm telling you, friends, silence the soul. Cut out the distractions. While many are playing and having fun in the sun. I don't know about you, but it's time for harvest. I'm going for a mega harvest. I'm going for the greater glory of God. Amen. I don't just want superficial carnal things. I want the glory of God. Someone say revival fire. For the Lord said this is a summer of revival. It's a summer of miracles. So number one, go back to your first love. Go back to your cave, your den of prayer your prayer closet, your prayer room. Lock yourself up in the shadow and watch what happens. Number two, silence your soul because there's many soulish carnal things that we want to do in this summer season. But I want to tap, I want to focus. It's time for me to focus, amen. Number three, there's going to be great clarity and vision. If you're with me today, say amen. And give us some hearts and likes. There's going to be great clarity and vision. Once again, some are going to see a summer season. Others are going to see harvest. Some are going to see it's a time to, to you know, rest and to fall off and to knock off some. Rebe, but some are going to advance mightily in the power of God. So great clarity and vision is coming to you. In Jesus' name. 
Number four, the fourth thing is God is releasing rest from the warfare this month. I need you to hear me. God is giving you rest and relief from the warfare that's been against you. How many of you, you've been seep up to here with warfare, closed doors, backlash, infirmity, unfortunate suddenlies of the devil. How many of you have been up to here with demonic warfare? But God is going to give you rest from the warfare this month. I declare it as a man of God in the mighty name of Jesus. This month, God's going to give you rest from the warfare. Some say rest. And rest means that you come into peace and joy. It means that you become refreshed. So God's going to refresh you in the realm of rest. And then number five, there's going to be a completion. Remember, this is the month of the seventh day anointing. Seventh day anointing. And in the seventh month, which I believe there's a realm of the seventh day anointing, God is going to begin to complete some things. So it's done. Bam, it's finished. Release from you. And so it's lifting. It's falling off. It's breaking off. And as you come into a completion, you need to let go of some things. You need to give yourself permission to say bye-bye, to say never again to those haters to that season, to those low-level people. It's time for you to come into a completion. Amen. Because let me tell you, this month, like I said, there is a trajectory to set you up for the next three months, up to Rosh Hashanah, up to the head of the year for 5784. And from there, September, October, up to October, November, December. The last quarter of 2023. And the Lord says, get ready to be in awe of the Lord. In this second half of this year. For the glory of the latter house will be greater than the former. Someone say amen. Shut up. So I really believe the Lord says, get ready for completion. Amen. Lift up your hands. Father, I thank you. Bless your people. Who's from Hawaii? I saw a number of people here from Hawaii. If you're from Hawaii, I want you to say aloha. Because I'm going to be in Oahu in three weeks' time. With Prophet Charlie and Brent Champ and Steve Swanson. So we would love to see you. But if you receive this word, I want you to say amen. And give us some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall. But I want you to lift up your hands in the spirit. Hi, Christine, bless you. We hope to see you in Oahu. But I want you to lift up your hands in the spirit because the Father is about to release a comeback anointing. A comeback anointing over your life where you felt like you were in the cave. You felt like you were hidden. You felt like you backtracked, retreated. You felt like Amen, Jason. <laughs> you felt like you're in a low point. Jesus. Rebera Boso. But I want to prophesy a comeback anointing in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, lift up your hands. I want you to begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Reba Sitamasha. Rabba Rabba Sata. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. I see the Lord breaking off just soul ties, spirit ties, breaking off word curses, fear, doubts, tiredness, lethargicness, the spirit of oppression. It's like many of you, you, you feel this heaviness, this cloud of heaviness. This cloud of delay, this cloud of laziness, where you're tired and you want to throw in the towel. 
But the Lord is removing now in the name of Jesus, fire of the Holy Ghost. Right now, there it is, the fire of God. Thank you for a reset, for a restart, for a renewal, and thank you for a relaunching. Come on, begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. The brain fog is going to disappear. The brain fog and the restlessness. Some of you are restless because of what's happening in the spiritual realm. Because of what you're feeling in your soul, and your body. You're restless. Amen. Who here knows that God keeps you up, but he gives you rest. If he keeps you up as an intercessor, as a seer of the night, as a, as a nocturnal type of prophet, but he still gives you rest. But I feel such a sense of restlessness, weariness in your body, in your soul. Hamaramasa, where you want to give up, where you feel like you're everywhere, you're, you're, daydreaming you're in a swirl a mind fog if that's you put your hands on your head right now and i declare the fire of god to come upon you now every witchcraft every fear every doubt god is closing the door to doubt and to fear right now and i declare in jesus name that every open door to manipulation, to fear and to witchcraft is being closed in the mighty name of Jesus. If you receive it now, say amen. Come on, give me some hearts and lights in the name of Jesus. Rebe, get ready for a comeback. Get ready for a comeback anointing. Uh -huh. Get ready for the comeback anointing to come upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Give us some hearts and likes. Thank you, Lord. I feel the fire. I feel the glory. I, have, I see angels being moved to you now. There are angels in activation. Angels in movement. Thank you, Father, for financial breakthrough. I just felt in the spirit. The Lord said, get ready for financial breakthrough. Thank you, Lord. Listen, there's some of you here on this broadcast now. You don't just need a financial breakthrough. But what you need is a totally different outcome. Jesus. I believe there's a realm in the spirit by the end of this month. God is going to totally flip your credit score. God is going to flip your name. He's going to flip, turn around your city. He's a God of the turnaround. But he's going to turn some things around even by the end of this month. He's going to flip the script. Amen. Choo. And I believe even by the end of this year, hear me now, many of you are even going to step into owning property. That's what I see. Ownership by the end of this year, by the end of 2023. The right place, the right loan, the right opportunity, the right door is going to open up for you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. But I declare breakthrough in the month of July. I love it. We just hit 170, and I like seeing the number seven. I declare July will be a month of breakthrough for you. Breakthrough favor. Breakthrough finances. Breakthrough relationships, breakthrough ideas, breakthrough relationships. This is going to be a month of breaking through where your lowest point will become your highest point. 
the three weeks of mourning in the month of Tammuz all the way to Tishba Av, the ninth of Av. These three weeks are going to be three weeks of breakthrough for you. Amen. Three weeks of breakthrough. Somebody shout hallelujah. See it ba 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 ba. Wow. Rebe si tarabasha tarabrata tarabrata. Chu. Jesus. Sharabalabatata. Oh my goodness. The Lord does it again. Some say preach, Dr. Ben. Guys, today is the official day where the three weeks of mourning begin. Lord, you did it again. Some would say alignment. This is the official day. This is the 17th of Tammuz today. So this is the official day where the three weeks of mourning begin. And here we are prophetically in this broadcast declaring about the month of breakthrough and a season of rest and a seventh day anointing and of the comeback. But today, July 6, officially begins the three weeks of mourning. But we say three weeks of gladness, three weeks of celebration, three weeks of glory, three weeks of victory, three weeks of revival. Ibaba, three weeks of mega breakthrough. These three weeks are going to be filled with joy, dancing, feasting, celebration. These three weeks are going to be filled with such comeback in your life. Jesus. Jesus. Come on, I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost. Oh, Jesus. Shukarabababarebesete. Masa tarabata tarabrata. Thank you, Jesus. Shoo. Thank you, Father. Lord, if I've found favor in your sight, Lord, please hear my heart's cry. I'm desperately waiting to be where you are. I've crossed the highest mountains. I've traveled near or far for your glory. <laughs> uh, I will do anything just to see you, to behold you as my king for your glory. I will do anything just to see you. To behold you as my king. I want to be where you are. I've got to be where you are. I want to be where you are. I've got to be where you are. Shut up, 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 up. Jesus. Jesus. Just pray in the Holy Ghost. Shama Rabasata Rama Sukurabosata in your presence. Jesus. There's healing being released right now. Healing from your heart. Healing to your soul, to your body. Ta! Healing to your body. It's coming right now. Jesus. Yiba Baba. He's turning your bitter to sweet. Your bitter into sweet. I see the Lord literally pulling some of you out. He's uprooting and pulling you out of certain situations. <laughs> because he's about you put you into a whole new season of platitude my goodness 
Come on, begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Help me to break 200 today. I'm so wrecked right now. I'm so wrecked. Get ready for Jesus to shock you, to leave you in awe and in wonder. Somebody say fire. Thank you, Lord. My goodness, if you receive this word today, I want to say amen. Phoebe, I see you increasing. Uh -huh. Choo! Get ready. Get ready for the glory of God. Jesus, blessed be your people. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your people today, oh God. Mashakarababa. Father in heaven, how we love you. We lift your name in all the earth. Let your kingdom be established on our praises. As your people declare your mighty word. Blessed be the Lord God Almighty. Who was and is and is to come. Blessed be the Lord God Almighty who reigns forevermore. Blessed be the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. Blessed be the Lord God Almighty, who reigns forevermore, who reigns forevermore. Jesus. Some say, come back. Get ready for the comeback anointing. Someone say, Amen. Rama Masata. Jesus. 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 Well, friends, I am officially wrecked by the glory of God, and by the goodness of Jesus. May the Lord bless you. May faith, cause his face to shine upon you. And turn towards you with favor. Amen. Well, friends, if you're blessed, say amen. Remember, tomorrow, I'm doing a live broadcast, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard, with Prophet Charlie Champ. It's going to be wonderful. Extreme prophetic. Tomorrow, Friday, 7-7. And you know what? Last year, myself and Prophet Charlie... Exactly one year ago, 7-7. Seven, seven. We also did a broadcast last year. So how prophetic is that? So tomorrow, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard, myself, Prophet Charlie Shamp, at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard in July 7th, 7-7. Seven, seven. Come and join us. Get ready to receive from the servants of God, from the mouth of heaven. <laughs> Consider sharing this broadcast if it has blessed you. Give us a like, a follow, a share, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok. Love you, bless you. Shalom, shalom. See you soon.